working? Yeah. Um, right. I, I don't think either of you have done much sport like skiing in the past, so um, you're a bit stiff and um, you know, you're fighting it a little bit, which is very normal when you're not used to something. Um, you tend to use too many muscles. Okay? So it's going to take a little bit of time to overcome that, you know, being realistic about it. Um, however, that doesn't, as I said, as you get better, you actually learn faster. So there's, you, know, you can only learn at a certain rate at the moment. Right? So and we'll have to keep that in mind. Uh, but you'll get there, so don't worry about that. But at the moment, the learning, I wouldn't expect it to be very rapid. Right? But as long as we keep it moving, that's the main thing. Right? Okay. okay. Now, um, you practiced this morning uh, what we were doing yesterday. Yeah. Okay. I want to do a little bit of revision and see how you're doing with it. So, what did you particularly practice this morning? I tried to practice less twisting. Yeah, but let's do it in a positive way. Instead of, instead of what you're trying to take away, what were you trying to add? You're, you were working on the dynamics. Okay, let me see down here. Let me see you ski down to, um, down to just the, the ridge there where this person's heading towards. Yeah, yeah. You ski down there, 20 turns, showing me the dynamics, okay? And then just wait for me down there. Yvonne, what do you see there when you're watching? Because you can give him feedback too, you see, when I'm not here, for example. Um, what do you see watching him? Pushing, pushing the ski away. Yeah, but do you see much dynamics there? Yeah, more than yesterday. More than yesterday. A little bit, not a lot more though. Not, not in real terms. And it, still the, the body... The, they're still twisting, but it's not as violent as yesterday. Would you agree? Yeah, he's more following the ski, but there's still a bit of twist in there. Yeah. But he's more following the ski than, than yeah, anything. Yeah, so. Yeah, he's probably getting more comfortable with the whole thing. Okay, now it's your turn now. So off you go and, and stop beside Ron down there. No. Okay, that was quite smooth. Um, you're moving more comfor comfortably than yesterday. Conditions are better. Um, still the, the same things present though. So, and I think you could feel that there. The, your, your rotation, is, we were dis discussing it at the top, because I, I would like to try to encourage each of you to be able to give feedback in a, in a constructive way. Right? Um, so, um, what did you think of Yvonne's skiing coming down there? I thought it was pretty smooth. Yeah, it, it was. Actually. That's the way I would describe it. But there, there's still a bit of, at the be beginning of the turn, there's a little bit of, sort of, oof, a bit yeah. of rotation. And that then... And the first, first two, three turns, it's like yeah. Down, yeah. Like yeah. Right. Okay, so that's all very normal. Um, anyway, let's let's decide how we're going to move along here today. Um, what I'd like to do, I want to, I want. We'll come back to what we're, we're working on yesterday, because there's a lot of aspects of it. But I want to immediately begin something else, which should address this rotation problem more directly, okay? Right, 
I want to go on to a little bit steeper to do it, so just don't see where these people are sitting. Yeah. We'll go down just below them to the left and stop there, okay? So, because it's a bit too flat here. Okay. Right. See how you're getting stuck in that snowplow quite a lot. Well, like, okay, it's not very comfortable. Um, so this might help you with that thing. Okay. Now, when you guys learn skiing initially, uh, even though you probably only had one lesson, I think you said, you would see everybody in a snowplow like this. So we're standing on these two edges there, the two inside edges, right? And you kind of get stuck with that if you pick up that right at the beginning. However, I want to show you something else here. Um, that side slip we did at the top, yeah. I want to use that now because I want to show you another way of getting the ski to go into a turn. Not on its inside edge. Now, see in the snowplow you go into the turn well, on this edge here and the ski would drive you through the turn, okay? And same, that's what people think, that's how people think all parallel skiing works too, but it doesn't. What I want you to do is just watch this to, to begin with, just, 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 just watch and relax. Okay, I'm standing on this ski here, the top ski, and I'm on the top edge. Now watch me go into a turn here. I'll just stay on one ski so you can see it. Look at my ski, I'm on the top edge, right, still on the top edge, and watch. The ski went into a very smooth, controlled turn. Right? Now, this is something that we can try at this stage. It may or may not work for you. It might be too difficult. But um, I have other ways we can uh, we can tackle this if you find it too difficult. Okay? But we'll try it first of all. Now, what I was doing there was I was first of all going sideways on the top ski, like this. And then what I did was I, using my adductor muscle here, my leg, I pull the front of the ski down, and I keep pulling inwards, like that. It's down and inwards. Just try it and see what happens. You have to be going sideways first of all. Keep pulling inwards. Okay. Actually, that wasn't too bad. Yeah, it will eventually switch to the inside as she come down the hill. Now let's let's pull aside a little bit so she has more room. This shouldn't be too difficult for you, Bob. Let's see what happens. As to going sideways, she's not comfortable with. You can keep both feet on the ground, 